Hello everyone. Last week we looked at how Jesus met Simon, Peter and Andrew after he was baptised by John the Baptist. Today we look at a different Bible passage where Jesus meets the two brothers at the seaside where they are mending their nets. Our passage today is from Matthew 4 verses 12 to 23. Jesus heard that John had been put into prison, so Jesus went back to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went and lived in Capernaum, a town near Lake Galilee. Capernaum is in the area near Zebulun and Naphtali. Jesus did this to make true what the prophet Isaiah said, Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali are on the way to the sea. They are along the Jordan River. This is Galilee where the non-Jewish people live. These people who live in darkness will see a great light. They live in a place that is very dark, but a light will shine on them. Isaiah 9 verses 1 to 2. From that time Jesus began to preach, saying, Change your hearts and lives, because the kingdom of heaven is coming soon. Jesus was walking by Lake Galilee. He saw two brothers Simon, called Peter, and Simon's brother Andrew. The brothers were fishermen, and they were fishing in the lake with a net. Jesus said, Come, follow me. I will make you fisher, fishermen for men. At once Simon and Andrew left their nets and followed him. Jesus continued walking by Lake Galilee. He saw two other brothers, James and John the sons of Zebedee. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, preparing their nets to catch fish. Jesus told them to come with him. At once they left the boat and their father and they followed Jesus. Jesus went everywhere in Galilee. He taught in the synagogues and preached the good news about the kingdom of heaven and he healed all the people's diseases and sicknesses. Let's talk about our Bible reading. I have here a plain piece of card, which is not very interesting, is it? But I'm going to transform it into something useful. See if you can work it out what it is as I cut it out. In our Bible reading today, Jesus met up with Simon and Andrew, James and John. And asked them to go with him to follow him. And they did. Can you see what it is yet? Anyway, they made a decision to leave their old life as fishermen. What do you think it might be? Are you getting an idea? So they left their old life as fishermen behind them to become followers of Jesus and learn from him. There's a lot of cutting out in this. I'm taking my time because I want to get it right. 
because this is going to be something useful that I'm going to use. Can you imagine what it might be? I cut out this bottom bit here as well. That might give you a better idea. Can you see it? It's going to be a sign. I'll finish that later. So they left their old life as fishermen behind them to become followers of Jesus and learn from him. I don't think this can have been an easy decision to make as they would have heard about John the Baptist being arrested by the ruler Herod for what he was telling people about Jesus. But Simon Peter had seen Jesus healing people. In fact, in Luke chapter 4, we are told that Jesus had healed Simon Peter's mother-in-law. These new disciples of Jesus were the first people to decide to change the way they lived and start a new life following Jesus. Now let's just do a little bit more of this. Now it's starting to make more sense, isn't it? Maybe you can see that I've written the word children. <laughs> There's a bit more to cut out yet, but it's going to be part of a sign that I'm going to put on the notice board at church, but I've still got some work to do to finish it. It's not easy to change the things you do and decide to follow Jesus, but it's not something we have to do on our own. We can ask God to help us to change. What are the things in your life that you might need to change? Perhaps you could ask God to help you. Let's talk to God now. Faithful God, you know that we sometimes mess things up. Sometimes we're not kind to those we meet. Sometimes we get angry. Sometimes we want to do our own thing instead of listening. Forgive us and help us now and every day. Amen. And another short prayer. Loving Jesus, we hear you loud and clear. We thank you for your call. Help us to always follow you in all we think and say and do. We praise and thank you here today for all your gifts to us. Amen. And let's say the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.